once you've picked a sampling method, you need to see if the group of people you've sampled are really representative of your whole group if you want your answers to mean anything. So let's take a look at some possibilities here of different types of samples and see whether the samples that were chosen were really going to be a good representation of the whole. Um, the first one here says asking people shopping at a farmer's market if they think locally grown fruit and vegetables are healthier than supermarket fruits and vegetables. So in theory what you're looking for is public opinion about whether or not fruits and vegetables grown at a farmer's market or locally grown fruits and vegetables are going to be healthier than ones that they just get from you know a supermarket where they're probably grown on a big farm somewhere else but if you were asking if you really want the public opinion you probably shouldn't just ask people who are shopping at a farmer's market chances are people shopping at a farmer market are going to have a different opinion than people who commonly shop at some big shopping chain so this is probably not going to be terribly representative because it uh, it only involves some people who have a very specific opinion, so not representative. The other term for this is that this is a biased group. For our second example, you want to find out public opinion on whether teachers get paid a sufficient salary by interviewing the teachers at your school. Now it says specifically that we want public opinion on whether teachers get paid a, sal a sufficient salary. Chances are if you're interviewing the teachers at your school, they're going to be more likely than most people to think that their salary is not sufficient. So really this is also going to be a biased group. Now it doesn't mean that they're necessarily wrong. It may be that teachers are not paid a sufficient salary, but that's not the point. The question is you're looking for public opinion. And public opinion is not going to be necessarily exactly the same as the, the group of people that are directly affected by your question. You might do a better job here by interviewing people at uh, there's your <laughs> maybe your farmer's market or your supermarket. If you were to just ask everybody that goes into a supermarket on a given day what their opinion was, you'd probably get a better idea of public opinion about a teacher's salary than you would of asking the teachers at the school. And then finally, the last one is you want to find out if your school needs to improve its communications with parents, so you send home a survey written in English. Well, again, this is probably biased because the chances are that the people who think that this school does need to improve its communications are probably not the people who a speak English as a primary language or b read things that are sent home. <laughs> if they're the kind of people that read things that are sent home in a package, they probably are just fine with communications. The people who don't necessarily think that communications are so great are probably not going to read the survey, um, either because it's not in a language that they're comfortable with or because they just don't generally read those kinds of things that are sent home. So you might do better off by um, I don't know, uh, meeting with students after school, uh, asking parents for at their next parent-student uh, conference, ask some questions about communications, some way that gives you a, a better chance to get face-to-face -face with someone and ask them the question in, per in uh, person.